Hey everyone, this is Ashley from Ascension Next, and I'm here with Jackie. Hey. And we're in Ascension Next right now. Um, we were here late today, and it's the blue moon on the 31st. And um, while Jackie was doing our astrology reading, I was pouring blue moon candles. And um, I kept like getting channeled messages about oh, I should pull cards, and then I just did some automatic writing, and then I just felt like I had to explain what's going on because this moon is a very big deal it's a it's a big energy shift right now so the first card that i pulled was the eight of flames and channeling through that um i got fixing and contemplating maneuvering through the old and start to um come like ideas keep coming through that we're not used to what are you going to do to move forward with these goals um, this is about making extreme changes in life and not being able to let go of the thoughts. So basically what's coming in is um, it's almost uncomfortable to the point of the energy that's cycling in. If you see the card, um, you can see that it's almost like a ball of energy and then fire surrounding it. So what I got from that was it's just... Um, it's not something that you can ignore. It's not something that's going to go away. And for people that aren't connected, it's, it's going to be very hard to maneuver through this. Um, it's about shifting and taking advantage and surrendering, which a lot of people have a hard time with. This is all about surrender and transmutation and transition. Um, there will be a lot of success in your plans if you do surrender. So the next card that I pulled was the Three of Orbs. And if you look at this card, um, this card represents to me Ascended Masters because of the number three. Um, I also got very fatherly, very masculine energy. Lots of Ascendant Master energy coming in, very strong. Um, many thoughts disrupting logical plans. Um, I know that male energy is more logical, but this is like, hey, we are ready to shift. You need to look at face value for what is going on. Um, almost like Zeus coming down. Zeus is for justice, so that's what I've seen in the light bulb. With I mean, the, the lightning was him, like get ready um if you're not ready or you're in a wrong position it's gonna be painful for you um move forward now with authority a lot of authority coming in some people will be highly disturbed by these changes and will not know how to grasp what is going on um and it's a lot coming in through the crown chakra that i see a lot of information so it's almost gonna be like like I said, disturbing. Like some people aren't going to know how to handle it. They're not going to know how to deal with it. The last card to me was very enlightening. And, and I seen it in two different ways. This is the Ace of Flames. So whenever an Ace card comes up, it's all about new beginnings, which are great. Um, new with extreme power. This is what I got from this card. All sacral chakra, all root, like just get ready to move now. Um, even solar plexus, extremely in your power. If you don't tend to the fire correctly, you will get burned, okay? Um, this is great for people who are open to the change, but almost horrifying to others who don't understand and will affect people on many levels. So this card is all about accepting this new change, accepting these new ideas. And what I meant by playing with the fire, if you don't know how to use it, you're going to get burned, is um, it's something totally new. The al also, the other thing that I channeled was Ascended Masters Merlin, Kathumi, Zeus, and St. Germain. And they are all about extreme change now, transmutation. Um, oh, that was the other thing that I said, and also Jackie will talk about that, is that this blue moon is not going to go away. A lot of the mo uh, full moon's energy, it comes down and it touches, and then it just dissipates, like it'll go away. But this is going to last until the blood moon in September. A lot of extreme, extreme changes going on. So that's what I channeled. So I'm going to have Jackie do the astrology. So it's funny because 
she's telling me what she channeled and like went through it with me and I said that's crazy because astrologically everything that you're talking about basically says the same stuff and so the moon right now the full moon is in Aquarius and Aquarius energy the full moon in it is like revolutionary drastic sudden changes new ideas um, things are coming to the surface especially through like the emotional realm um, which is what the moon rules uh, coming to the surface that are changing things quickly and changing things um, in a way that is not as familiar to us. Mm -hmm. um, it's just revolution. It's run by the planet Uranus and it's all about individuality, coming standing in your own power and being an individual in your own power while subconsciously also still being connected to the, to the collective consciousness. Mm -hmm. So this energy is huge for transformations um, that's why she was just working on candles specifically for um, like wolf moon or transformation uh, spells and those kind of things or energies or intentions like this specific moon is really really great for those kind of intentions um, and like she said the energy of this moon is going to yes it's going to like move through other signs but the changes that happen during this moon or the transmutations that happen during this moon are going to stick with us mm -hmm. until it's kind of like put outward with the next moon which is going to be extremely powerful and we'll talk about that in another video as it gets closer mm -hmm. but um as this full moon moves out of virgo um moves out of aquarius it's moving into Pisces um, on August 1st, which is a sign of like deep, deep connectedness and spirituality and understanding things on a larger cosmic level. So this moon is like preparing us to get into that realm. It's like settling even deeper. So when she said, if you're not ready, you're going to burn. Like if you're not ready to take on this energy and like know what it, know what it is, you can get lost in this energy. Some of the other really powerful things that are happening right now that you might feel are Venus went retrograde on us on the 25th of July and based in the sign of Leo and what that basically means is um, relationships specifically the relationship to the self but relationships in general are turning inward so you're going to feel like not only your relationships with your people and um, yourself but relationships with money and possessions suddenly are going to feel like they're difficult to like keep your hands on mm -hmm. and it's um you're not really going to know what direction you're going in and it's because venus is asking you to move inward and kind of like troubleshoot your relationship so that's that intensity is also happening on top of what she channeled and on top of the moon energy um and also this moon is right now in opposition with both the sun and mercury and what that means for us is that it's basically in opposition with our um, communication and uh, like speaking our truth and it's also in opposition with um, our identity so we're being called to stand in our power and stand confidently as an individual like like um, she said with the father figure coming down it's almost like you're being called to do you and nobody else but you and you're also being called to speak your truth and to learn like I keep seeing like they're like it's almost like they're fed up it's like yeah. that's it yeah. You know, learn now. Now is the time. Yep. And I also see, like, the earth. This is what I keep seeing even while you're talking. I see the earth, and then I see the ascended master energy just moving. It's like they shifted closer to us. Yeah. And they're surrounding the earth now um, a lot stronger than they ever have. Yeah. So Definitely. that's what I keep seeing. Um, also, I had a question because yeah. I kind of told Jackie not to tell me the astrology stuff just go yeah. into it in the video um more because i don't want to mess up my channel messages through what she's saying not that it would but i don't want to influence it um you said so are we looking are they the masculine energy is trying to make us look inward is that what you're saying um the venus is a fe well venus itself is a feminine planet right but it's in a masculine sign so it's like we're going inwards, which is Leo. You're going inwards to fix the masculine parts of yourself, like your identity mm -hmm. and your ego and oh, like those okay, kind of I things. Um, and like how people see you and how like your relationship mm -hmm. with yourself. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. But like some of the other things like the Aquarius um, moon and so on and so forth, that's like a masculine energy that's, I don't want to necessarily say that that's like making us go in, well, kind of. 
Yeah, because you said Aquarius yeah. was more outward. Yeah, yes. Um, yeah. So, like she's saying, it's kind of like father figure and like masculinity going inward on ourself. And when, we, when I say masculine, we don't mean like man or woman. We mean like outward energy or mm -hmm. like receptive energy or projective energy. Mm -hmm. So right now your projective energy is almost being like tamed to be like uh, integrated in a way or like re-instructed mm -hmm. so that when we go back outward and put ourselves back into the oh, world, okay, it's like I a... Gotcha. Does that make sense? It's yeah. like a... Um, it's kind of like flip-flopping, right? A little bit. It's flip-flopping for... It's like you just... We're going back to like get maintenance at the shop that we were created at, and okay. then we're going into the world like an updated version of mm -hmm. ourselves. Oh, I see, I see. You know what I mean? So that's I, why the masculine energy is there to like bring the lessons inward, outward. <laughs> yes. Okay. Because the lessons have to go inward first. Okay. In order for us to live them. All right. You know what I mean? Yep. Like you have to change yourself before mm -hmm. others. And what I liked about her, like, not asking me what was going on astrologically, and then she kept saying masculine energy and all this stuff, and, like, do this now energy, is that in ancient astrology, um, the ruler of Aquarius, which is the sign in which the moon's in right now, was Saturn, and Saturn is basically looked at as the father figure of the planets. Mm -hmm. He's the planet that's like, hey, you have to learn this disciplinary thing right now or you have to go through this obstacle right now and that's the energy that I see coming down astrologically it's like hey it's time to change are you ready like stop yeah. stop messing around it's time to change now mm -hmm. yeah yeah inwardly first and I think I feel like when we get into the next moon it's going to then turn outward right and that's around the same time that Venus is going to be okay so that's why direct. I'm seeing everything like kind of like <laughs> On the crown. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We talked about it a little bit before we did the video, but I was like, don't tell me too much because yeah. I don't want you to influence my channel messages. No, so. it was actually supposed to be like only her video. And when she started talking about it, I'm like, you literally are outlining what's happening yeah. astrologically right I now. Because I don't really know much about astrology. <laughs> That's her thing. So. Yeah. All right. So are we good? Yes. All right. So get ready. <laughs> or too bad if you're not. <laughs> <laughs> AscensionNXT.com, and we'll see you next video. Cool.